Hey everyone, this video is going to very quickly describe the key differences between major depressive disorder and persistent depressive disorder, also known as dysthymia. So let's get straight into it. When it comes to diagnosing major depressive disorder, you need at least five of the nine M. Siggy cap symptoms for two or more weeks. So these symptoms include mood, sleep, decreased interest, also known as anhedonia, feelings of guilt or worthlessness, decreased energy, concentration, appetite changes, psychomotor slowing, and suicide attempts or thoughts of suicide. And very importantly, in order to diagnose MDD, at least one of the symptoms must be a depressed mood or decreased interest. So we can contrast this with persistent depressive disorder, which is depressed mood for more days than not for a period of more than two years in adults or more than one year in children. And when it comes to PDD, uh, there is no symptom-free period for more than two months. So a patient can't go more than two months without feeling any symptoms. Additionally, they'll have at least two of the following symptoms uh, in adults or one in children. So these could be hopelessness, low energy, low self-esteem, insomnia or hypersomnia, poor appetite or overeating, or poor concentration. So you need to have at least two of the following in adults or one in children. And here's a table to help summarize the key differences between MDD and PDD. Hopefully that comes in handy. And now let's do a practice question just to kind of wrap up the concept. So this says a 36 year old female presents the clinic after not feeling like herself since her husband passed away one year ago. She describes feeling hopeless, not being able to concentrate as well as she used to, and that she sleeps two to three hours a night. She mentions that she has felt this way almost every day since losing her husband. What is the most likely diagnosis? And the options are bipolar disorder two, persistent depressive disorder, anxiety, PTSD, or none of the above. Take a second, pause if you need to, and then we'll move on to the answer. The answer here is none of the above. While this patient experiences lots of the symptoms that could help qualify her for PDD, she's only been feeling this way for one year. Remember, in order to diagnose PDD, a patient has to have felt depressed mood for more days than not for more than two years. And this patient's only been feeling this way for one year, so she would not qualify for a diagnosis of PDD. I hope this video was helpful in explaining the differences between MDD and persistent depressive disorder. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll get to them. Thanks for watching.